O7 citizens, my name is Black and welcome to my channel, Castle Black Gaming, where I cobble together guides and other useful info for Star Citizen. Now, with so many changes to the game this year, especially when dealing with your inventory, including ship components and weapons, I thought it was time to update my old guide and show players step by step not only how to upgrade your ships, but also some time-saving tips that we can now do in the game using our personal hangers that we could not do before. Now I will share those tips at the very end so be sure to stick around for those and as usual I provide timestamps below so let's go ahead and get into the guide. So the first step and thing to know about upgrading your ship or ships is that the ship you want to upgrade and the component or components needed must all be at the same location. Now what does that mean? You, your ship, and those components must be together at the same exact location, which means the same exact landing zone or station. Now for this first step, I will just use my starting zone, which is Area 18 on Art Corp, where I chose my personal hangar to reside. Once there, you simply go to the spaceport and go to your hangar. Once inside, you head over to your ship terminal and you make sure that the ship that you want to upgrade can be delivered and you will simply interact with the terminal and push deliver and then request delivery. Now for this example, I am having my cutter delivered. This action basically brings your ship to that location, but does not yet call it out for you to board it. It just makes it available at that location, which is what we want before moving on to the next step. So do not go in and actually push the retrieve button just yet. Now the second step in this process is to actually go into your Moby Glass by pressing F1. Then, down at the bottom you will see several icons and you want that last one on the bottom right that says Vehicles. Press that icon. Then in the upper right hand corner it says to select Ship. Press this and a drop down comes down which will show you a list of all of your ships. Any ship that you have not completed step 1 for, where you deliver the ship via the ship terminal, will have a lock next to it, meaning you cannot edit those components. Now for this example, I will select the cutter that I delivered from step 1. Now it might take a second to load, but once it does, you will see a list of items on the left hand side that you can change on this ship if it has those options available. You can change the color or design of your ships in the liveries tab, or the systems tab will allow you to change out the ship components components, which are the coolers, power plants, quantum drive, or shields. The last tab is the vehicles tab where you can change out your ship guns, missile racks, and missiles, which is pretty self-explanatory. Now for industrial vehicles, such as the mining, towing, or salvage vehicles, you will also have the utility tab where you can swap mining or salvage heads and maybe one day towing heads for those tugboat style vehicles. Now to change out any of your components, simply select the option from the left side. So for this example, I will select my quantum drive option, which is usually the first component anyone is going to want to change. Now when you select the quantum drive, you will see which component options are available for you to swap to. So in my example here for the cutter, I can swap to the Atlas, the Expedition, the Foxfire, or the Goliath. Now remember step one, you can only swap to components that are physically at this same location where your ship is. So if you have no options here, that you prefer, that means you will need to go pick up those components, and I'm going to cover that in the very next step. Step 3 assumes that you have the component and are ready to swap it. I have the Atlas engine, which is here, so I will click it, and you see it is now in the slot, and then I will click Save and Equip at the bottom right. This adds the engine to my ship, and I have now upgraded my Quantum Drive. Now before I move on to step 4, I do want to offer up a good tip with dealing with the missiles. When you go into your missiles, understand that most are first connected to the missile rack, which for some ships can be swapped for different sizes, which will allow you to change to small or larger missiles. For example, if you have the Cutlass Blue as I do here, which comes standard with 24 size 2 missiles, and let's say you wanted to change the size of your missile rack to support size 3 missiles, you could swap your missile rack from the MSD-442 that comes stock with the MSD-423, 
and you could then put two size 3 missiles instead of four size 2s, which is less, but the size 3 missiles do more damage per hit. You could also swap to a size 1 missile rack and get eight size 1 missiles, which is a lot more, but less damage per hit. The important thing to note here is that when changing missiles, you must first remove every single missile from the vehicle manager menu here under the specific missile rack before the new ones are going to show up and allow you to be added for that rack. I've had a lot of questions with people asking why they can't see or add the missiles that they know they bought even though they know they're at that location and that is the reason why you must first remove all of those specific missiles first now on to step four so on step three you were not able to upgrade your ship because the components or weapons you needed were not listed this means it's time to travel but where are the parts that you need and how do you know where to go now you're not going to find any easy search tool in game which is why my loadout videos can come in handy which i guess now is as good a time as any to ask that if you have found this guide helpful that you please consider joining the more than 10,000 subscribers who have already come to my channel for helpful guides like this one or for my many ship loadout videos where I offer up my suggestions on good components and weapons for many ships in the verse and even include some handy graphics showing the locations for those components. And with many changes coming in 4.0, I will be doing a full update to all of my loadouts, so stay tuned for those. Now, of course, there is also the Urkel tool, which is a website, which is very good as well, where you can choose whichever component you need from a drop-down list and you will get more data, including the location for the component that you want. I will, of course, include that link down below. Now for my example here, I will go with the Crusader Spirit as the ship that I need a quantum drive for, and I like the XL1 for all of my size 2 quantum drives. Now using the Urkel website, I see that the XL1 is located at either Cousin Crows on Orison or Platinum Bay on Port Tressler. I will be going for the Port Tressler location, so get in your ship and travel, or if you happen to already be located on Orison, just head over to Cousin Crows and purchase the XL1 from the terminal. Before moving on to the next step, a little note here is that if you're flying to another location, just go ahead and take the ship that you need to upgrade so that ship will arrive at the parts location so you can just swap it right there. Alright, so you've gone to the store whether you flew there or went there on the same planet and made your purchase at the terminal. Now that you have the part, and if you brought your ship there as well, and it has been stored at that location, because remember, you cannot upgrade a ship using the vehicle option from your Moby Glass, see step 2, unless your ship is stored. You are now ready to go back to step 3 and complete the process. But before you go, I want to offer up some additional tips and options to save you more time, especially with upgrading multiple ships, which can also add to the immersion of the game a little bit. So with freight elevators and personal hangars in the game as of 324, you can now purchase multiple components and take them back to your personal hangar. So you can just swap all of your components from the convenience of your own hangout. Now I did this, I bought multiple Atlas engines because I have at least 5 or 6 ships that all use that size 1 engine. I brought them up on my freight elevator, loaded them onto my ship, flew my ship back to my personal hangar on Area 18, unloaded them onto my own freight elevator, and stored them in my warehouse there. You can also store some around your hangar, giving off a mechanics look and feel to your hangar if you so desire, adding a little bit more immersion. Alright, so one last final tip for some ships is that you can actually manually swap parts using your tractor beam instead of going through the Moby Glass vehicles menu. Now keep in mind that not every vehicle has this option yet, but as engineering and repairing comes online with 4.0, this is going to be more of a thing, and I believe at some point most upgrades are going to take place this way completely instead of using the Moby Glass at all. So to swap a part, you must first of course have the part and the ship out in your hangar, not stored. Enter the ship and sit in the cockpit seat because you need to unlock the item ports by pressing right alt plus K. Now get out of your seat and find the component in your ship that you need to remove. Now for the cutter, its quantum drive is in the back of this ship in this little cargo area. Now using a tractor beam, you will see if you can remove a part because it will highlight green. 
A little arrow usually pointing down or out is going to mean that you need to sort of snatch the component out with the tractor beam and then set it aside or back on your freight elevator to be stored. Then grab the brand new component, so in my case an Atlas engine, and tractor it into place making sure it's basically oriented the same way as the way you took it out. Now once you see it's highlighted green, you just release the tractor beam and it snaps into place. Now be sure to remember to lock your ports again by going back into your seat and pressing Alt-K so would-be thieves can't steal your parts and then you're good to go. You have just manually changed out your ship components. You can do this with many other components and weapons including missiles and their racks, the guns, and industrial parts like the mining heads or upgrading to larger bags on the mining ships. Okay, so that's it for this ship upgrading guide. Hopefully this answered all of your questions. Now, if you do have any more, feel free to join my Discord where me and others are there to answer any questions that you have, no matter how small you might think they are. I'd also like to hear your comments below. Let me know if you're more of a hands-on mechanic or if you prefer the automated approach. Now one other thing I did not mention as a tip is that you could technically offer up your services to other players by either delivering an engine to them and installing it or just selling it to them. So let me know if you've taken that route as well and made some money off some folks. Anyway, I've been Black and thank you for watching and keep it positive out there as you make your way through the verse.